here's your bag butler it's flat when you first get it what you want to do look for the bag butler logo you can see it right here pull the panels from the back around to the front you want to hold some fingers in one side pull the other side together and grab it with your thumb you'll feel the tension so what you do now these are going to be 30 gallon bags I'm going to show you first when you first use the bag you want to make sure it's not all stuck together get it get it so the opening is easily accessible like that if you try to push it in the bag or force it in when it's not like this you're going to tear the bag so what you want to do remember it's folded flat pull it the other way around fingers there thumb you'll feel the tension slowly put it in the bag just put it in you can shake it if you like now if you want to rake or sweep just lay it right down now we can sweep and rake right into the bag most rakes are a little bit wider than your bag butler that shouldn't stop you from being able to rake you just go right into the bag instead of trying to go flat you might want to angle the rake a little bit and I'm just going to put a few in there to show you some more features. Now if you want to move it around while it's still got debris in it or leaves, whatever, you want to grab the bag through the handle holes. You might want to pull them up just a little bit. See now it won't fall off. You can move it over to another pile or another area and keep breaking. That's a lot easier than bending over, lifting them into a bag. And then when you've got them as full as you want, shake them back down and then slightly push in and lift. It will come right out. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to go ahead and empty this bag. That's a 30 gallon bag. And over here I have a 39. Let's see. Again, make sure it's fluffed up and you've got a place to put your bag butler. Remember, it's folded flat. Pull it the other way around. Pull it together. Put it in the bag about halfway in and just let go. Now you can sweep and rake again into the bag. Just like that. And if I wanted to move it to another location, remember, grab it through the handle holes like that. Now we can move it somewhere else and rake more leaves in. And when you're done, just lift it up. And again, you want to push in slightly, pulls right out. I'm going to show you another way to use it as a standing trash can. If you want to empty a grass catcher, just put it in the bag. Put it all the way in, let it go. This is a 30 gallon bag again. You'll notice if you filled it to the top, you probably wouldn't be able to tie it shut. Or you might, but just fill it to the top. In a larger bag, like our 30 gallon bag, what you want to do, I'm going to empty this one so I can show you this. You want to put it in and just fold the excess bag over the top. Again, we're folded flat here. Pull it around like that. Put it in the bag. Now this time I'm going to put it all the way to the bottom. Fluff it up a little bit so it has somewhere to go. And let it go. Now we can use it this way. See the excess bag? Just fold it over to the sides. Now you can fill it up like that. Slide it up as you go. Once it's full, remember, you want to move that little bit right there so you don't catch it on the corner and tear the bag and just lift it out. Fold it back up flat. Now if you've got messy trash, like at a party, picnic, camping, take your bag. Now I've still got the emblem on the inside now. Start on the back. Just work your way around to the front. Now you can fill it up without getting dirty. If you had a barbecue and you got the chicken bones, plates, ribs, whatever, just throw them in. And then when you're done, just lift it off. 
That's a lot easier than pulling a bag out of a trash can. Just like that. Now the main thing you want to remember, it's folded flat one way, pull it around, grab it like that, and always make sure, don't force it in the bag, you will tear the bag. Put it in, let it go. Another thing, again, get that little corner. You don't want those stuck. Okay, another thing, you do not want to try to pull it together with these handles down here. Always use these handles. That puts too much stress on it. Also, some people I've noticed try to hold it down with their knee. You will break it off. You'll break the panel off. Don't use your knees. Don't use your body parts. Don't try to pull it together with your knees. Just use your hands. It's made for that. Again, take it, put it in the bag, just let it go. Move it around this way. You can shake it down if you like. When you're done, slip it out. Also remember, the tapered edge for sweeping is on this end here. There's your emblem. There's the tapered edge. You can sweep up a driveway, a walkway, whatever. When you're done, you can just fold it back up flat. You can rinse it with a hose. Or you can just hang it on a hook. And that's it.